click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I was looking at my YouTube comments and I came across this comment. I thought this was very interesting, right? Because I'm scrolling through and I, I, I see this comment from a guy named Tim Brown 5000. And he says, I won't lie. Being a white guy, Latina and Asian women are far easier to get with than white women. White women will not give me the time of day. Okay. Now, let me put my phone over here so I could so I could get into this. Now, what does that kind of sound like? That also sounds like when black guys say, you know, white women are easier to get with than black women. Black women ain't giving me the time of day or they, you know, not trying to mess with me. Or it sounds like guys that say American women are, are you know, to this or to that. I'm going to go overseas and get with these women. Right now, you have situations where, for example, white women who's dealing with who deals with a black guy, she may see that black guy as more masculine than her white male counterpart for you know, different types of reasons, maybe this body build that, you know, energy or swag that he exudes or whatever it is like that, that makes her see him, that black guy as more masculine and sexually attractive. And therefore she's going to submit to that black guy easier than the white guy. Then when you go over to white guys, you see a lot of white guys with Asian women. So those Asian women might see those white guys as more masculine than their Asian male counterparts. And so therefore she'll submit to that white dude easier than she might to the Asian guy. Right. So those things, you know, are going to happen. You understand? Or guys will go over to overseas to a different culture and those culture, those women have been trained to be more submissive. So then when you go over there, you get that sort of energy uh, from those women. And especially because you're an American, they see you as, you know, maybe a higher value guy. Right. So those situations do occur you know, in that, in that context, but see the bigger issue here is this, is that if you're a black guy saying, Oh, I can't get with black women or you're a white guy saying white women ain't going to give me the time of day. You're an American saying, Oh, I can't get American girls. All this boils down to is basically having weak game. <laughs> it just really, that's really all it is because what happens is is that because your game is weak, you're able to fall back on the situations that were constructed or the situations that are in place that make it easy for you. Now, if you're a white dude and you're getting with Asian girls and they're just making it easy, do your thing. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. If you're a black guy and you're getting with white women, because the white women are throwing it at you and it's easier to do that. Cool. Even if you're one of these guys who want to go overseas and holler at chicks and all that other stuff, do your thing. Just understand that the reason why you're not getting the other situations, why the black guys not getting the black woman, the white dudes have an issue with the white women and the, 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 the American dude is having issues with the chicks in America has to do with weak game. And also on the flip side, what happens is this, because you might be that white guy who is having an easier time with Asian chicks or Latina chicks or whatever it was, right? You're a little bit more confident in those situations. So what happens is that if you're that white dude interacting with that Asian woman, you're a little bit more confident because you think that you can get her, right? Because you might've had prior experience getting with that woman. So now you're confident in the fact that you feel that it can happen. Same thing with a black guy that's dealing with white girls all the time. You're dealing with white girls all the time. White girls are cooperative to you. So the next time you see a white woman, you feel as if you're able to get her, right? So with that being said, if you had the same level of confidence dealing with these other women, if you're that white dude who had the same level of confidence dealing with uh, white women that you do with Asian women, then you wouldn't have a problem with white women. 
You just don't have that same confidence dealing with white women because even in this comment, the guy's like, white women won't give me the time of day. So him seeing a white girl that he might want to get with, he may think he's not going to be able to get with her. And that creates the situation where he's talking to her. There's that low self-esteem energy in the situation, which is going to make him not be able to get with her. Same thing with a black guy trying to get with a black girl who, and he only usually gets a white girl. So he sees that black girl, he's trying to get with her. He's like, oh, I don't know. And oh, she but she got an attitude, whatever, whatever the, 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 the thing is. You understand? But understand that, you know, no matter if you're white, black, Asian, whatever, you're going to have issues with certain women if your game's weak. See, what do you think a lot of this, uh, you know, MGTOW stuff is from? MGTOW, you know, most of it, um, that's like white dude stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Like white dudes are mainly MGTOW. Why are they MGTOW? Why are they going there on the way? Because they were having issues with white women. You understand what I'm saying? And I think like, you know, some black dudes had, you know, joined MGTOW. And then I think they have like a black version of MGTOW core called uh, some other shit. I can't even remember, like Ibmore or something like that. Yeah, I got I don't know all these goddamn acronyms. You understand what I'm saying? But either way, those things stem, stem from guys not being able to deal with particular types of women you understand what i'm saying and so or you know you even have was uh save yourself black man sysbm all those things not being able to deal with a specific type of woman now again like i said earlier if you're dealing with certain girls and you know shit is easier for you in that regard that's cool and if you want to do that make it happen understand though is that that comfort zone you're in is the thing that creates the situation where your game stays weak because let's say you're the white guy and you see a white girl that you want to get with but you're like white girls don't give you the time of day then what you see a few white girls you want to get with and now you're feeling like i can't get with a white girl because white girls don't give me the time of day because your game is weak you see what i'm saying or you're a black guy who dates a lot of white girls you run into some black woman you want to fuck with and you're like man i can't you know I, I wish I could get these black girls, but they just not really feeling me like that. They're not feeling you because your game is weak. You understand what I'm saying? You guys over there, you, you, you American dudes, you see a chick in your city you want to fuck with and you're like, oh man, I got to fly to the Philippines and Brazil to fuck with girls because girls around my way don't want. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So understand that if your game is weak, this is the type of shit you're going to have to deal with. It's that simple. So step up your game, whether you white, black, yellow, orange, purple, pink, whatever it is, right? So that you can really actually take advantage of situations, no matter who the chick is, no matter what race she is, no matter what background, culture, whatever it is, your game is so tight that you ain't worrying about all of that. At the end of the day, you're a man and she's a woman. You understand? And again, it's not like you're going to get every girl. That's never going to happen no matter what guy you are, no matter what race a woman is, it is what it is. But to have that limit or feel limited to saying, oh, I can only get this type of girl or that type of girl, that's coming from you having weak game. Click the link below and get your bad boy gear. Get the t-shirts, submissive women are sexy, binary as fuck, and I'm God to these hoes. Click the link below to get your bad boy gear today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. 
click the link below.